and closer to home we haven't really seen much in terms of rain over the last several days but we are seeing some relief in sight from the late summer heat wave that we've been dealing with for the last couple of days. It comes in the form of this cold front which is right now draped across the state of Nebraska bringing some rain showers uh, in the western parts of that state but then later on uh, later on tomorrow I should say we will be seeing some relief coming with this cold front but it's going to take a while to get here and tonight we still are dealing with the warm temperatures and the humid weather uh, only down to 73 degrees for a low tonight as we do stay partly cloudy clouds will be thickening up over the next few hours or so we do stay quiet though that's going to be the important thing we also do see some gusty winds but really calm down from where they were earlier but they will pick right back up again tomorrow as we have yet another hot and humid day in store starting out in those low 70s but will quickly be climbing into the upper 80s and low 90s in the afternoon but you got to factor in that humidity we're going to have heat indices well into the 90s even into the upper 90s potentially for some we'll get up to 91 degrees for a high tomorrow as we continue to feel hot and humid feeling closer to 97 it looks like but we also have a little more of a breeze gusts up to 30 miles per hour tomorrow so hopefully making it feel a little more comfortable but thankfully we only have one more day of this that's because a cold that cold front moves in late Tuesday night but ahead of it we do see some showers and thunderstorms popping up across Iowa and into Minnesota as well these could be on the stronger side for them near the La Crosse Wisconsin area as well but as it gets closer to our area these will be weakening in intensity so we're not necessarily dealing with any severe weather just some pockets of very heavy rainfall in the overnight hours into early Wednesday morning. We're looking at 1 a.m. So really don't be surprised if you hear some rumbles of thunder early Wednesday morning, but really just through the pre-dawn hours as this line moves out pretty quickly and we dry out by sunrise on Wednesday. So we're looking to stay dry on Wednesday, but then that cold front moves through. That's what actually sweeps out that rain and that brings us some cooler temperatures. But in terms of rainfall totals, locally maybe up to an inch, maybe slightly higher, but not necessarily talking about too much, which is not necessarily good news for the drought situation situation that we have developing because we are really in need for some rainfall. But like I said, that cold front sweeps out the rain and also sweeps out the heat and humidity. Temperatures going to feel a lot more like fall later on this week, and we see that in our seven day forecast. You can see 91 tomorrow, 82 on Wednesday, and look at even cooler than that as we head into Thursday, maybe even struggling to get over 70 for some on Thursday. But any most accurate 10 day forecast, you'll see that it looks like these cooler temperatures are here to stay with highs in the 70s, maybe even approaching 80 for the weekend with plenty of sunshine in store. And in the four degree guarantee today, we just missed the bullseye, but we hit the dartboard. That's all that matters. We get over $600, if you can believe that.